I just want to read a quote by you uh, talking about the 60s and, and, and what it was like. You said, I thought the 60s were great, but for teens, they were also troublesome times. Uh, since I was a teenager dealing with those problems, I chose the songs I sang from gut reaction, mm -hmm. such as You Don't Own Me was like an anthem for feminine independence. That song, uh, it, it always amazes me because I think although A Party may be the signature song because it was yeah, the first, right, right. Uh, I am always deeply thankful for You Don't Own Me because in my estimation, it took me out of the bubblegum pop genre. Sure it, it also took me out of that, it wasn't actually, you know, a, a one song wonder, but it put me in, it, it, it made my work a little bit more serious. And mm -hmm. I think that was the problem with, with It's My Party. Uh, it wasn't really taken seriously enough because sure. of its genre, its, its pop essence. Mm -hmm. And I think the discussion of the lyric, uh, the, that lyric today is, uh, um, it's passe. It sure is. Um, and I, I, it's very much scream 60s. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, You Don't Own Me, um, scream 70s, 80s. And it was really the beginning of the feminist movement in this country. It so happened to correlate with that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay.